You're watching Self-Help Education TV. Jack liked to play football, but he broke his leg one day while playing. He felt intense pain, but couldn't find a way to stop it. Jack decided to meditate to end the pain, but nothing happened. Jack then tried to be positive and forget about his pain, but shortly his nerves reminded him of it. One of Jack's friends suggested traveling somewhere or changing the routine to kill the pain. Sam decided to try both suggestions. While traveling, Sam's pain increased as he had to drag his broken leg as he moved. While Jack was resting on a bench in a public garden, a wise man saw him and realized that he was suffering. The man approached Jack and asked him why is he feeling bad, and Jack responded, saying that he has done everything to end the pain, but it never went away. The wise man told Jack, You have done everything to end the pain but the one thing that could end it. Put your legs in a cast, the man said. Jack tried that suggestion, and suddenly the pain disappeared. End of story. Hello Jack, I wasn't lying when I said that this is a true story. Almost every one of us has been to Jack's place before. We try to solve problems using all possible methods except the one that can genuinely solve them. You feel bad because you lost a job. Then you decide to mediate to end the pain. You feel bad because you are not rich. Then you try to travel or change your routine. You feel bad because you never achieved your goals. Then you try to practice positive thinking and gratitude. You find yourself feeling down because life is mistreating you. Then get into a relationship to feel better. How many times have you tried to solve a problem by doing something unrelated to the problem? How many times did you decide to change a routine in response to a financial crisis? How many times did you decide to travel to forget about your horrible or stressful life? Jack's story is more prevalent among us than you can imagine. For some reason, most people get eluded easily by side plans that can hardly affect the main problem or solve it. Yes, practicing gratitude, meditating, and thinking positively can help you execute your plan. But if any of those things became your plan, then you are doomed. Is it possible to recover instantly from bad moods? Depending on the type of problem, it could be possible to recover instantly from the pain by taking instant actions. Of course, in some cases, the solution can require some time. But as long as you are working on one, your mood will keep improving as you progress in your plan. Tackle your problems directly, understand what makes you tick, and then follow a practical plan. There are so many beautiful philosophical concepts out there, but philosophy alone never works when it comes to ending pain. Let me summarize this article in one word. Move.